The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, is speaking. This is after a, a breakfast today. Uh, this is talking about domestic violence and domestic violence leave it actually starts today. So let's listen in. ..who are here, who campaigned so strongly uh, through uh, Michelle as the president of the ACTU, the, the figurehead. I'll just single out one, uh, but uh, an enormous effort over a long period of time. Uh, but also uh, the frontline workers who've done such an extraordinary job in advocating for the people that you look after day after day. You, you see uh, the impact of family and domestic violence on the front line all the time, uh, tragically, and uh, your advocacy is quite extraordinary. Um, this is a day frankly, which we wish we didn't have to have, but we do. And from tomorrow, right across Australia, access to family and domestic violence leave becomes a reality. It will be such an important day and an overdue one. No woman should ever have to choose between her job and her safety. No woman should ever have to pick between her financial security and the physical and emotional well-being of herself or of her children. It is truly remarkable that until now these have been very real choices, choices that a shocking number of Australian women have had to face. It's 2023 when nearly a quarter of the way through this century we ought to have been so much better than that. Well, as of tomorrow, we will have become that crucial little bit better. Tomorrow and everything that it represents is the culmination of an extraordinary and sustained effort by so many people. I would say tireless efforts, but we all know that's not true. All of us are human. And yet so many people have conviction determination and patience have pushed through exhaustion to make sure that today has become a reality. Advocates, survivors, families, workers, unions, extraordinary individuals and persuasive groups, and a Labor Party that vowed that the moment the Australian people gave us the privilege of forming government, this was something that we would get done. 